Hello everybody, it's Torrent here from Weeper Gaming and welcome to another installation video. Now in today's video we're going to be focusing on mod loader for Minecraft 1.7.3. We have two videos of the same nature of this, which is for Minecraft 1.6.6 and probably 1.3 maybe, I'm not sure, I can't remember which one Sam's gear was. Um, we've had a lot of people asking and complaining why they get a black screen whenever they load it up. Uh, hopefully I'm here to resolve some of these issues. So the first thing we're going to want to go on is open up your favourite browser and go to the Minecraft forums and you'll find this thread which has a load of mod collections on it. Uh, the first one you want to go and download is the mod loader beta 1.7.3. Um, I'm going to be providing you with a link in the description to this thread. Now you can either download via AdFly or the direct download. Click whichever one you prefer. I like download and direct. Um, and it will download it. Uh, I've already it's got one there because I've already done it before. So once you're ready, open it up in your favourite archiving software. I prefer WinRAR just because it's easier. And when you open it up, you'll find you have all of these class files. Okay, so ignore those for the minute. And you want to go to your user. You're going to want to go to App Data, Roaming, and Minecraft. If you don't know how to, if you haven't, yeah, if you can't see where App Data is, just go to your folder options and press Show Hidden Files. Okay. And you're going to want to go into the bin, and where it says Minecraft, you're going to want to right-click it and press Open with WinRAR Archiver, okay? And it's going to bring up the same thing, but with all the files within Minecraft, okay? Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to delete the meta.inf, or dash for inf, however you want to say it. Hover over it and just press Delete, okay? And it will ask you if you want to delete it, and yes you do. Give it some time, okay? Now if you don't delete the meta inf, uh, that will stop it from working, so it's very important that you <laughs> delete it. Uh, go to your mod loader file, and you want to copy all of them over, so drag down the bottom and just highlight all of them, and drag them over to your Minecraft jar, and press OK, and then copy over. Right, so now that's done, we're going to launch up Minecraft, just close all my uh, open windows at the moment. And the one way you can tell if it's worked is when you log into your Minecraft account, if the Mojang Splash logo appears at the start, then you know it's worked. So it's the moment of truth. I'll log in. Okay, and now if it comes up with a Mojang logo. There we go. So the main problem some people have is they've either copied over some of the wrong files, they've copied them over into the wrong place. Um, they haven't deleted the meta, uh, the meta INF file. If you've deleted the meta INF file and you've copied over the right files just like how I showed you, you won't have any problems with it loading. Um, if you do have any issues, uh, go to your app data where it says .minecraft, back up any world saves you have, because obviously you want to keep your world saves to single player, and delete the entire folder, and just launch up Minecraft again and it'll re-download a fresh one for you, and then just reapply the mods in the same way first using the mod loader of course and then it should work so again we can go and play a multiplayer etc let's go on my server quickly just to show that it's a there's no bugs within installed in this mod there you go so uh, thank you guys for watching remember to like and subscribe this like not subscribe this video remember to like this video uh, it really does help our channel grow bigger and it, we really appreciate it um, so again thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time for more tutorials Right. So. <laughs>